Anomaly's adaptive response action for Splunk Enterprise fosters bidirectional sharing between Splunk and the ThreatStream platform, uniting SOC analyst and threat intelligence team efforts. Traditionally, when SOC teams discover events of interest, values are sent manually via email or other means to threat intelligence teams for further investigation. Anomaly's adaptive response action revolutionizes this data transfer and creates an automated response workflow for Splunk Enterprise users. Let's say a SOC analyst discovers an interesting looking event value and wants the threat intelligence team to investigate its maliciousness. When the SOC analyst triggers the anomaly adaptive response action within Splunk Enterprise, it creates an investigative threat bulletin on ThreatStream for the threat intelligence team to triage. If IOCs in the threat bulletin are indeed malicious, threat intelligence teams can import them at the click of a button. Once IOCs are approved, they are automatically pushed down to all security solutions you have integrated with ThreatStream, such as next generation firewalls, DNS servers, SIMs, or endpoint security products. Now let's take a look at the incident review dashboard in Splunk Enterprise to see how the adaptive response action works. We've discovered an event that looks like it could be malicious and want the threat intelligence team to investigate further. Let's expand the Actions menu, select Run Adaptive Response Action, and then click Add New Response Action. After selecting Analyze with ThreatStream from the list of actions, we'll need to specify the event field we want the Threat Intelligence team to investigate. We'll also add a tag to make sure the team knows where this data came from. After clicking Run, the action is initiated. Now let's take a look at ThreatStream to see what this looks like from the Threat Intelligence team's perspective. When the SOC team runs the action in Splunk, ThreatStream takes the data and creates a threat bulletin. Here's the threat bulletin that ThreatStream created for the action we ran. The body of the threat bulletin contains all corresponding incident data, any comments left by the SOC team, and all related raw events. The threat intelligence team will also find a link to an import session in the threat bulletin where they can review all IOCs that ThreatStream scraped from the event data. When IOCs are approved, they are associated with the threat bulletin where investigation progress can be recorded. This threat intelligence, created from SOC and threat intelligence team efforts, can then be pushed to your security solutions via ThreatStream link. If you have any questions or feedback, send an email to splunk at anomaly.com. <laughs>